Hey guys, this is Chris from Budget Cuts Lawn Service. Today I wanted to show you how I added an off-road light bar to my zero turn mower. Stay tuned and I'll show you exactly how I installed this floodlight. So let's go over some of the supplies you'll need for this install. You should pick up some assorted electrician's tools such as a wire stripper and crimper, wire to carry the electricity, butt splices, I generally use the kind that you crimp and then heat to melt and seal the connection, ring terminals to connect to the battery posts, both male and female quick disconnects, and last but not least, an inline fuse holder and fuses. Also, don't forget to get a switch to turn the light on and off. Now let's take a look and see how all these parts go together. So first off, we'll start at the battery and work our way to the floodlight. As you can see, I attached a ring terminal and an inline fuse holder to the positive terminal of the battery. I then ran wire along an existing harness over to my switch. After that, another wire was run from the switch to the light. Don't forget to hook up the ground as well. Luckily, that's a quick run from the negative side of the battery to the negative wire on the light. I ran both power and ground between the frame and this cup holder panel. It simply snaps off to reveal a large space to run wire in between. Both wires are then run up under the foot deck. I then used a quick disconnect to attach to the light. This way, I can remove the light quickly and easily if needed. That's all for this video. Let me know how you liked it in the comments below, and don't forget to subscribe. Now here's some bonus footage of the floodlight in action. Thanks for watching, and I hope to see you next time.